Hey gang, it is Tuesday, February 26, 2008. Welcome to the MuseCast. I've got so much to talk about, I don't even know how many parts this post comes in. I'm going to give you the pup day, the cupcake, injuries, the evil baby orphanage, another life, the Oscars, and eggs. You'll see, just bear with me. So let's get to it, the pup day. Thank you everybody for all your good wishes and positive mojo last week. Uh, it was a tough week. The puppies are in a home and I was kind of concerned because I wasn't sure if it was permanent or not. Seemed to have settled in and uh, everything seems to be okay. So please keep on crossing your fingers and let's hope this works out. Okay, the career update. <laughs> I think I'm gonna keep calling it a cupcake. The only auditions I had last week were the two that I had on Tuesday, but that's okay because I had a crazy busy week. It is a big goal for me now that the industry is starting back up after the strike for me to get a theatrical agent because I need to go out and start auditioning for roles in movies and TV and stuff. In solidarity with Winfleet, my favorite Australian nerd fighting vlogger, sorry Fresnet, I injured myself several times this week. Once here, this was not career related, I did that in the gym in the steam room because it was all steamy and the light was burnt out and I didn't see the light fixture and it hit me in the head. That kind of looked like this. Oh, excuse me, I'm just gonna walk right behind you. Ow! No, you know what, it was, like I said, it was burnt out. Ow! <sighs> Interesting thing about that though, I heard that honey was a better antibiotic than like Neosporin or anything like that, and two days in a row I put honey on it and it was almost gone. It really works, so I'm a honey convert. And you know I already like the sweet stuff. I also injured myself at improv rehearsal there and a little bit of a scrape there when I jumped off of Venezuela's Angel Falls. That looked like this. Oh man. Nerdfighters, on Wednesday, Hope Shapiro and I pitched the Evil Baby Orphanage sketch and it went over very well. We got some rewrite notes from the director and speaking of Winfleet, she asked for an update on Another Life. Actually, she asked what it was. Another Life is the short film that I filmed a year and a half ago. It took me about a year and a half to figure out an editing program so I can edit. It's almost done. Right now, all that's left to be done is some final tweaking. Keith Hampton, who you see on Thursdays, is doing the music for it. Eric, who you see on Wednesdays, is doing a trailer. So you should be able to see something soon. I just watched the Oscars today because I was working on Sunday, so I T-voted. I thought it was great. Jon Stewart did one of the best hosting jobs that I've seen in a while. Everything was right on, everything was funny. Now at the risk of being a little schmaltzy, it's kind of hard to watch the Oscars because watching it, my heart aches at how much I yearn to be part of, uh, of that world, that industry, and Man, I have ever since I was a kid. And though I know that I'm on the path and making progress and taking steps, still that indeterminate weight is just so hard sometimes. And lastly, eggs. Specifically, not putting them all in one basket. As a performer, it's good to diversify. Uh, for instance, not just doing comedy or not just doing movies. You want to do different things. You want to have different skills. Although the catch-22 of that is when you go to an agent and try to sell yourself, sell yourself as an, a, you know, a specific type. It's much easier for them to get you roles than to say, oh yeah, I'll just do anything. They don't like that. So that's it. Big episode. I'll let you go. Have a great week. I'll try not to injure myself. I'm Travis Ritchie, and I'll see you next time. At long last, after 2,000 years of work, the Illudium Q36 Explosive Space Modulator.